Do you want to be able to type using your voice on any app at all on both Windows and Mac? I'm the Productivity Coach and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart Riddow, the Productivity Coach, and I work at Microsoft as part of our Modern Work and AI team. And today I'm going to show you one shortcut that you need that will work for you on Windows and one on Mac that will allow you to type using your voice on any app at all. But before we get into it, I just want to ask you to hit that subscribe and the notification bell on my YouTube channel so that you get notified when new content comes out. There you go. That's the whole thing just there on the uh, subscribe pitch. Uh, let's jump in and have a look. So here I am in Microsoft Word and you can see that all of these packages, they all have their own way for you to dictate. So here I am um, in Word, I can click this dictate button here. And once I click that button there, then I'm able to type straight away. Okay, so you can see that these features are built already in. For instance, if I went to Copilot, there is a little uh, a little microphone icon there in Copilot on Word. Um, if I used Copilot here, there isn't a microphone here, but I could actually click on the dictate button here and it goes on. So, you know, if I go here and I'm in Outlook, there is um, a dictate button up here that I could use. Um, if I'm in uh, Google Docs, for instance, I would have to go to Tools and then go to Voice Typing. I can do that there. If I'm in Copal on the web, then I can use the microphone button here. If I'm on ChatGPT, it's not quite as clear here. So loads and loads of different places that you can uh, that you can access voice typing. So, but what I'm doing is just show you one way that you can do it that works across all of these. Okay, and that shortcut key on Windows is Windows and H. And once you click Windows and H, it will pop up a little voice typing assistant here, and everything you say will then go into the app that you're using. Once you're done, all you need to do is press Windows and H again to stop. Okay, and it doesn't matter where you are. So here I am. That was me in uh, in Word. But if I just minimize down, okay, and let's go into Google Docs here. Again, all I need to do is press Windows and H. I just need to wait for the little chime to start. It makes a little uh, auditory sound just to indicate that I am typing. And then once I've done that, all I need to do is talk with my voice and the dictation feature, which is built into Windows, will do that for me straight away. And then when I'm uh, finished, all I need to do is use that same keyboard combination again. And once I hear that little chime, I know that it is over. So really, really easy. No matter where you are, all you need to do is press Windows and H um, and then you can start typing there. OK, so let's switch across to Mac and just see just how easy it is to do that there as well. So on my keyboard, I actually have a microphone button, which is there, but you can see that it's on a function key at the top. Um, so I can press that button and as long as I'm not in function mode to press F5 to, like, for instance, refresh a web page, then I can start to dictate there as well. But what if that keyboard shortcut isn't kind of convenient for you? Um, or you know you use F5 quite a lot. Like, you know, as I say, when we're on the web, we press F5 to refresh our web page. So all you need to do on Mac is go up to the app icon here and go into System Settings and go to Keyboard. And if I scroll down a little bit, there is a section here which says Dictation. So make sure that that is switched on there. Um, and then you can see down here it says shortcut and mine is set to press and then the microphone button. So that's the button which is on my keyboard. If I'm not happy with that, all I need to do is click on that drop down and you can see that I've got options like press the control key twice or press the globe key, which is also the function key on the Mac keyboard. Press that twice press the right command key twice, left command key twice, either of those. Um, and if I'm still not happy with any of those, then I can click customize, press that keyboard combination myself, um, and it will set that up for me. Super, super easy. Um, and again here, if we just do a demo, okay, and all I'm gonna do is press that keyboard shortcut that I've just set up. You hear that familiar sound that you get, you know, for, uh, if you're pressing things on Siri or using it on your phone and stuff, and everything you say is then dictated into whatever app you're in. 
And then when you're done, you just press that dictation key again. You'll hear the beat that stops and, and, uh, and you're done there. So there you have it. Two easy ways that you can dictate on any app on both Windows and Mac. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, hit that subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get uh, to hear when I have another video. And if you have done that, then I will see you again on another video. Thanks for watching.